Oh my, oh my gosh. It is insane. Oh yeah, he, he wants very to He's very feisty. Wow. Today, I set up a turtle tank, and then I went to one of the coolest pet shops I've ever been to in my life. And I bought two adorable little turtles and brought them back home and put them in my tank. First things first, setting up the turtle tank. I decided I wanted to have a black sand substrate, and I've read online that you can buy black diamond blasting sand from Tractor Supply Company, and it's going to be a lot cheaper than any other sand you're going to buy in an aquarium shop, and it's basically the same exact stuff. Uh, one thing, though, is you got to make sure you rinse it out very, very heavily in a bucket to get all the dust out of there, but then after that, it's good to use, and it's completely inert, so it's not going to like mess with the water quality, so... I had to rinse this out for a good like 15 minutes before I was ready to put it in my tank. I also had to stop by Petco to get a couple really important things for turtles, uh, one of which was a UV light bulb. These guys have to be exposed to UV light uh, for their turtle shells to grow correctly. Uh, and I also got a lamp for that UV light, and I also got this little like, you know, turtle stand thing that's going to go in their, in their tank for them to sit on and bask in the sun in. In addition to the UV lamp, I also wanted to get just a heat lamp that would emit a lot more heat because the UV light is not really that hot and it's not really that bright. It just kind of you know provides that UV light, but I also wanted another lamp that's going to provide a lot more light and a lot more heat. Also guys, massive tip here that could save you a lot of money. If you're ever shopping at Petco, do not go in there and buy anything without looking it up on their website first. So many times you'll see something listed on their website and it'll be like, 10, 20, 30% cheaper uh, on the website than it actually is in the store. So like this little turtle stand thing that I'm installing now, it was $44 in the store, but it was only $35 on the website. And the UV bulb, $30 in the store, $20 on the website. You go in there, ask for a price match on the website, and they just reduce the price. So I literally saved like a good $25 on my trip to Petco just by looking this stuff up on the website beforehand. Please do it. I still had some fake plants that I used a while back in one of my goldfish tanks. So I decided to put those here in this turtle tank because I did hear that, you know, some turtles like little hiding spots. So I figured having a couple of these here and there would give them something to hide around. I uh, definitely probably need a little more, but I do want to use the rest of them to put in my other goldfish breeding tank to help get those guys, you know, inspired to breed thinking it's spring. After the tank was all set up and ready to go, it was now time to drive to the pet store. And let me tell you guys, this was one of the most exotic, crazy pet stores I've ever been in. Check this out. Hey, buddy. What? What? <gasps> this looks like Jenny. Turtles and you gotta yeah. call about somebody gonna like butcher and eat this guy. Um, they're really cool. Guys, check this out. You wanna be in a video? Yeah, dude, that'd be <laughs> awesome. Oh, well, uh, so, so uh, what'd you say your name was? My name's Ryan. Ryan? All right, Ryan from Zoo Creature. What's yep. this place called? Zoo Creatures. Zoo Creatures, all right. Yep. This is Ryan from Zoo Creatures. He recognized me from my channel and he's letting me hold this little turtle here. I'm on a mission to find the perfect turtle for my tank. And this guy's pretty cute. Yeah, he's gorgeous. This guy is pretty cute. I like his shell. So okay, guys, this is an alligator snapping turtle. I'm, I'm assuming you have to use two hands to hold it. You can use one hand, but mm. it's just it's a lot easier because in case they ever try to kick or anything like he's doing right now. Yeah. You just have a Oh, my arm. gosh. Yep. Oh, my gosh. All right, you mind recording me? Yeah, sure. All right. Oh, oh, <laughs> my gosh. That is insane. Oh, yeah, he, he wants to bite. He's very feisty, yep. Yeah, he wants to bite. Yep. These were bred here, but they were bred by uh, the owner's best friend, which is really cool. This is my first time holding a snapping turtle. <laughs> that is insane. Yep. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, Tim likes to pick them up. So. Oh my! Oh my gosh! I know about that. that doesn't even. He doesn't even look real. <laughs> but yeah, I've never seen. I, I have seen him up close, but not like exposed like this before. I've seen him in, in aquariums. Yeah. Wow, that's insane. These guys are extremely feisty, but they're also extremely rare for this 
albino is in it. Um, wow. We call this guy chicken wing. <laughs> it looks like it looks like it. I can see why. Very pudgy. Wow, wow, he is really pudgy. Yep. It, lo it literally looks like like raw chicken skin. That's that's hilarious. There you go, buddy. That is hilarious. Alright, I'm gonna get these little tiny sliders. Where are the other ones? Two of these tiny sliders. Wow. Turtle number one in here. Hey, buddy. So, so cute. A fly river turtle. That's insane. There's a crocodile in here. Oh my gosh. Yo. A diamondback rattlesnake. Is that a copperhead? That's a southern copperhead. My goodness. A king cobra. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Two of them. A spitting cobra. An albino diamond there. Mexican beaded lizard. This is, this is fluffy. Oh my gosh. That is the biggest toad I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh. Hey, you buddy. Hi, you buddy. Look at these turtles, guys. They're tiny. No, oh, where are you going? Okay. Wow. Wow. Guys, they have a whole alligator here. A whole alligator. What the heck? Should I put my fingers in there? Ooh. No, I'm joking. Wow. Look at that. Okay, guys, we got the turtles. We got the turtles, but we do have a little bit of a problem. So Ryan from the pet store told me that little guys like this can sometimes drown if the water is a little too deep and I really would not want that look at the dude hey you buddy where are you going where are you going um and there's no reason to use my 75 gallon if I'm gonna have if I'm gonna make it as shallow as possible because it's the same square footage as the 60 gallon so at least while these guys are tiny and small uh-oh. 
at least while these guys are tiny and small like this and the water needs to be a little more shallow, I'm going to be having them in my 60 gallon. So I got to get the 60 gallon tank ready for them. Look at them. Turtles on my ground. Turtles on my ground. Hey, you buddies. Hey. They're really adorable. They're really adorable. Okay, I just wanted to make sure they made it, they made it here safe. So we're gonna put, we're gonna, oh! <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. We'll put her back there. And we'll put, hey, come here. Come here. Wow. We'll put you in here. Okay, actually I decided while I prepare the second tank, I'm just gonna put them, I'm just gonna put them in here. Hey, you buddy. Hey, you buddy. So I'm just gonna put them in here. It's a little more open and it's a little more watery. So we'll get you in here too. Wow. Look at them. This guy's real fast. This one, not so much. go ladies and gentlemen we now have our two turtles oh, he went for a swim where are you going so I bought these turtle pellets but you know they seem kind of big I'm not sure if they're oh he's smelling it ha! Ha! <gasps> He's eating it. He's eating it, guys. All right, so I think he can break it apart. He's breaking into it. That's good. He's smelling it out, and he's, he's, go, he's getting a breath of air. Where'd your friend go? Look at him go out. There you go, buddy. <laughs> This is good, this is good. I'm glad he's eating. That means you know, he's probably not too stressed. Um, but he probably has to have that, he probably has to have that pellet soften up a little bit uh, before he can get it. There you go. Why are you running in the water with it? No one's gonna take it from you. <gasps> You're sharing? You just got it stuck. He's venturing out into the sun. Well guys, I can already tell that, you know, I'm gonna love these, I'm gonna love these two ladies. They're gonna be so fun. Look at, look at her go. So yeah, he said he was not, he said he was not 100% about the gender. He wasn't 100% sure, but his, uh, his best guess was female. Cause I, he said it's best to keep, if you're gonna have multiple turtles, best to keep females because males can get a bit on the aggressive side. Can you climb on? Watch. Oh, there you go. Destroy it. Destroy that pellet. Yeah, buddy. He's sniffing it out. Or she's sniffing it out. She's sniffing it out. And then, yeah, so definitely these are, uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait for them to soften up a little bit. Maybe I should pre-soak them before I feed them. I didn't realize how small these turtles would be. There you 
There you go. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna see if maybe she just wants me to just flip her up on. That might. That might help her. Is that what you were looking to do? You see, I can be helpful. I can help you if you need it. Just ask. Wow. This one has a little bubble on his nose. <laughs>